<clears throat> so when we are focusing on the second question, let me just finish this. Okay. <clears throat> question is asking us to find a quadratic polynomial in which the sum and product of the zeros are given respectively. The word respectively is very important. That means the first thing which is given, the first thing which is given is sum. Okay. okay. And the second thing which is given is product. Product. Is that thing clear? Yes. Yeah. So let me uh, show it to you one question. Sum is one, one second, insert a page. What was the sum? Can you tell me? Uh, sum was sum. My, uh, one upon four. Sum of zeros was minus one by four? No, not minus, one by four. One by four, okay. One by four. And product is one. Minus one. Product is nine. Product of zero is one. Okay. Now, uh, so over here, do you remember what is the formula for sum of zeros? Yes. Minus B upon B. Sorry? Minus? Minus B upon Minus B upon it. And what is the formula for product of zeros? C upon it. C upon it. So in this formula, always remember one very, very important thing is uh, denominator should be same. Okay. okay. Denominator should be same. If denominator is one, perfect. I don't mind. But whatever is a denominator, it should be same. Otherwise, make it same. If not, okay, make it same using LCM. Okay. Easy. So right now, what is the denominator in both the cases? In first uh, case, the denominator is 4. In second case, the denominator is 1. one. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to multiply this by 4. So I will be getting minus 4 by 4. Clear? Okay. Hmm. Now see, over here, A is 4. A is yeah. 4. So I got my A as 4. Okay. And uh, my B. What is my B value in this case? If you tell me. B value. This minus minus B, value B value is 1. Minus, minus B value one. is 1. So can I say that B value is minus 1? Yes. Just shifting minus to the other side. Okay. Oh, yes. Yeah. Now, C value is? Minus 4. Minus 4. So, always remember, A, B, C should be positive. So, their answer can be negative, but A, B, C in itself should be positive. Positive. So, I got A, B, C. Now, what is the quadratic equation, quadratic polynomial form? A, X square. Uh, standard form. A, X square uh, plus B, X plus C. Yeah, that's the polynomial. Do not write equals to zero because that's an equation. Now, we'll just substitute the value. A value is 4. B value is... Sorry, B value is minus. So, minus 1x. And C value is minus 4. If somebody is writing 4x square minus x minus 4, that person is also correct. Okay. So this is one of the equation. 
it is one of the equation. When I am saying one of the equation, what do I mean by this? So I'll try to explain that. So what has happened? If I give you two points mm. on a graph, if I give you two points like this, mm. what do you think? Th these what are these? What are these points? Zero. Very good. These are the zeros. Now, mm. what do you think from these two points? How many quadratic polynomials can go? Like. What is the graph of a quadratic polynomial? Remember in the first class we discussed? What is the name yeah. of the graph? Uh, what is the name of the graph? Uh, it was parabola. parabola. Yes. Parabola. So can you tell me how many parabolas can pass through these two points? How many parabola? Yes. Only one parabola. Um, I can see so many parabolas can pass through these two points. Some can go a little bit higher. Hmm. Is it making sense? Yes. Yeah. So, if I'm giving you two points, I need one more point to confirm which one is which. Whereas that is not the question they are asking. So actually by solving this thing, we are getting family of parabola. That's why we write K in the beginning. Okay. Okay. Is it making sense? Yes. Because we sincerely don't know which parabola we are talking about. We know it is known as family of parabola. That's why we write K in the beginning. Okay. Some teachers don't write it, ignore it. But let me tell you, your NCRT book itself is telling you this thing that you should write. Can you see this thing? They have given example number four. Find a quadratic polynomial whose sum and product are given. So they found ABC and they wrote the condition. Okay, and they are writing one okay. quadratic polynomial. Can you see? They are writing one quadratic polynomial fit the condition, this thing. And in the next line, they are again writing this thing. You can check that any other quadratic, quadratic polynomial that fits the condition will be of the form K. K is real. Yes. Okay. Understood. That means there is some value of k which can also pass through the same two points. I hope this thing is clear now. Yes. Yeah. So quickly copy this thing, then I will show you on the graph uh, what I was trying to say on this thing. Now in this particular case, can you see I just wrote the same equation. 4x square minus x minus 4. And these are the two zeros. From these two points, it is going. Now, when we are talking about family, I want to find out one more. So we are multiplying the whole quadratic equation by some other number. It can be minus 1, it can be 2, 3. You tell me, by which number should I multiply? 2. 2. two. So it will become 8x square. Okay. Minus 2x minus 8. Okay. See, it is also going from the same two zeros. But it is little bit longer. Yes? Yes. So what does it mean? It means that just by getting two zeros, we cannot say which graph we are talking about. That's why we write K. Okay. So let me just copy this thing and write down the K itself. Okay. In the beginning, I'm writing close the bracket and in the middle, starting K. That's the idea.
just see i'm just changing the k value and can you see the graph is changing up and down yes but but it is passing through the same two points can you see that yes i'll just zoom out for you so that you can see it clearly so that's why i'm saying there are thousands of parabolas going through these two points but uh, they have the same solution same zeros so i'll just stop it over here i hope you understood why what i'm trying to say with uh, yes. family of parabola so as you said we'll do third zero and uh, root 5 So, what is zero in this case? In our question, zero is zero and root five. Sum of zeros. Okay, sum of zero is zero. And product of zero is root five. Root five. Okay, and we know that sum of zeros formula is minus b by a. And product is c by a, and thankfully, both the denominator is one. Okay, so therefore my a value becomes one. A value becomes b value becomes b value becomes zero minus minus a minus b becomes zero, so b becomes zero. And c value becomes root five. Therefore, quadratic equation a x square plus b x plus c quadratic polynomial. Sorry. So one x square plus zero x plus root five. So the quadratic equation will become x square plus root five. So this is my And quadratic equation, but do not end over here. Don't forget to write k. K. K means family of quadratic equation is the family of quadratic polynomial. Okay, yes. that's how you need to present this work. Based on this thing, I will send you one uh, worksheet. You have to do that. Okay.